Having watched another boar fest in Arsene Wenger's press conference this morning, oh, wow, where do we dissect this shit? Um, first question I would have asked would have been, so a couple of months ago, Arsene, you said Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain was 100% not leaving Arsenal. So how comes he now plays for Liverpool? That would have been the first question stuck on him. Um, there was just pointless, boring questions that were asked about um, how close were you to selling Alexis Sanchez? How close were you to buying Lamar? How close was Mbappe? <sighs> Seriously, what is with this shit, like, questioning? How about asking him some proper questions? Um, obviously, again, he's just gone through the same boring, uh, well, uh, look, uh, look. You know, it's just boring, man. Every single week I watch these, and every single week they ask him there or thereabouts the same questions. He's had two weeks in international duty um, to sit there, think about it, etc., etc., and all he comes out with is the same shit, and they lap it up. You know, at the end of the day, we got absolutely destroyed by Liverpool. Let's have that right. We got absolutely destroyed. Okay, and he decided that we no longer needed anybody else in that squad. Um, in fact, he actually sold Oxley Chamberlain out of the, the squad that went to Anfield. So, by my looking at it, we're actually worse. Yes, we've signed Lacazette, yes, we've signed Kalasanak, but neither of them two played in that game, and he sold one of the players that did. So, how about say to him, look, at the end of the day, the team you started at Anfield was the same team that finished fifth. What makes you think that you can do better this season? Ask the question. Nobody's going to ask him these questions because, like I've said in previous videos, it's all nice and friendly and thanks for your time, Arsene. Oh, we appreciate it, Arsene. All sitting there sipping on their tea and biscuits. I swear I'd love to be in one of these press conferences. Although I'd probably only last one question and get kicked out or arrested. One of the two. Anyway... Fuck all that shit, because it is boring. Um, on to the team news. Um, the only long-term injury is Santi Cazorla. He said everybody else is fit, as far as he is aware, although Alexis Sanchez and David Ospina haven't returned back yet due to being the other side of the world for international duty. Um, what I do find highly amusing is that all of these players, they go away to their, to their, to their countries and they play their international games, and they all turn into world beaters. Mesut Ozil scored a goal the other day. Played really well. Um, Aaron Ramsey, again, scored a goal the other day. Played really well. You know, but then they come back to Arsenal and it just seems like somebody flips a switch and they just turn into absolute shit. So, on to the Bournemouth game. Obviously, we've played Bournemouth a few times now. They've been in the Premier League a few seasons. Um, we had to come back from 3-0 the other, the other season, last season, uh, which we did. And um, ironically, Lucas Perez um, played really well when he came on in that game. And um, yeah, he's no longer here. So yes, that was at Bournemouth's ground. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, is anyone full of confidence going into this game? Because I'm not. And he's sitting there saying that we've got to get behind the team. Well, we're always behind the team, Arsene. That's something that you can never question, my friend. He was trying to say today that um, the media are the reason that Arsenal fans are getting the ump. Well, no, you're basically mugging us all off saying we ain't got a brain. Yeah, We've all watched this dross for years, and it's no different to any other season. So, I'm going to go with my 1-11. to Let me know what you guys think. Stick your comments down below. I am still in Mallorca currently, and it's my missus' birthday, so forgive me if I don't reply to all your comments. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with Check-in goal, um, because he's better than Ospina. I'm going to go with the Tank at left wing-back. I'm going to go with Mustafi, Koscielny, and Rob Holding as the three. Obviously, we don't have the Ox to play right wing-back anymore, so Hector's the only one available, because I ain't putting Debucci in there for shit. Uh, the midfield two... Granite Xhaka, you're on your last chance, mate. 
if you don't perform in this, don't be thinking you're getting back in my starting 11s. So him and Ramsey, um, I'm then going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with Mesut Ozil and Alexi Sanchez. And I'm then going to go with Alexander Lacazette up front. So, yes, that's my 11. I do think we'll beat Bournemouth and everything could be rosy again because our flip-flop fan base just decide that as soon as we win a game, all is well. But let me tell you something now. If we do lose this, we are royally fucked because we've got Chelsea next and we ain't getting nothing there. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Laters, peeps. Thank you.